Hey. Hey guys, it's Jen and Pat here. Yeah. We are currently doing a little bit of winter driving. Pro tips. Yeah. Number one, don't stay too close to behind the bus. <laughs> they kick up a lot of rocks and salt. I'm not really that far, I'm like three, two cars away. Yeah. It just kicks up. Better tip, wiper blades. I need some new ones on. That's messy. And the worst part is we have them at home, we just gotta install them. Yeah. And when you're looking for a wiper blade, you wanna make sure that it's good for minus 40. In Canada anyway, where we are. Yeah, great way north. Ottawa Valley, apparently with the sexiest accent. Another good thing is to have actual winter tires, not all seasons. Yes. Why at, is that, Jen? Because they have better traction, better stopping power. Just made all around better for ice and snow. Yep. Mind you, a snow tire is not a nice tire. So if you drive where there's a lot of ice, you got to upgrade. Yep. That's my get goal for next year. Some nice pearly ones made for ice. Yep. Uh, you don't want to have missed match tires. It'll go off your handling. And a lot of people will do two tires that are all season and two that are winter. They usually either put the winters on the front and all season on the back or vice versa. That can cause oversteering and understeering issues. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, another thing is, if you're gonna do a lot of night driving, invest in proper lighting. Mm -hmm. So if you have a driver's light that is out, get it fixed because you never know what's out there. No, we almost hit a, what was it, Coyote the other day? Yep. Yeah, in, in Ottawa too. Yep. Yep. Uh, there's a bunch of pro tips. You want to make sure your coolant is topped up so that you have heat in your car. Yes. You want to make sure you have an emergency kit. Yep. Emergency kits should include possibly a tow rope. Yep. A shovel. Yep. Some gloves because no one wants to have to deal with coldness. Yep. Either some slime or a spare tire. Yep. Green dude. Yep. What else would you recommend? Uh, flares. Flare. Yeah, that's always a good thing. Or even those reflective triangles. Yep. Flares are a little bit better though. They're a little bit more visible at night. Yep. You can get phosphorus ones. They're about five dollars for two. Can you tire? Yeah. There we go. Can you tire? Uh, another thing I'd recommend is a candle because if you ever get stuck in the side of the road or ditched, a candle will actually keep your car warm. It could be the difference between life and death depending if you're in a spot where there's a lot of traffic or no traffic or a signal. Yep. Matches for a candle. Very much so, yep. The waterproof ones, obviously. Yep. Um, going back with uh, the coolants, if you know you're going just like on a tour, like right now we're driving to Ottawa. I know it's about an hour and a half drive. We have a full tank of gas. We could have made it on half a tank, but if something happens, the road conditions are garbage, at least if you're in a ditch, you're waiting for somebody, you can keep your car on so that you have heat in your car. Yeah. Although, if for some reason you are in the ditch and you have your car running, make sure there is no snow by your exhaust pipe. If you have too much snow around your exhaust pipe, you will get the fumes back into your car. Carbon dioxide. Not a good thing. No. Oh. Uh, the roads are way better at what they were a couple days ago. Yeah. Uh, Two nights ago, we did drive to Orleans. Yep. And there was ice on the roads. What normally takes an hour and a half drive ended up taking us almost three hours because we had to drive about 50 to 60 kilometers an hour in a 90 zone. Oh, that's a reason. Oh, another pro tip for driving during winter. Try not to pass a plow depending on how the weather is. If the roads are clear and he's just putting salt down, Go right ahead, pass them, but if the roads are snowed up, stay a good distance behind them. It's your safest bet. It's also a lot. Well, yeah. Um, talk about windshield wipers, you're going to need some bug juice. Make sure you get winterized stuff. Yep. It might seem silly because you get a lot of all season stuff, but I've had a lot of all season stuff freeze in the lines, and it, when it freezes in the lines, it'll break your line, it could break your nozzle. You'd be fixing a bunch of stuff for no reason. Yeah. So what you want to do also before winter is you want to go through a drive through car wash. Uh, get your whole car waxed up, pray, pay for the premium. A good wax in your car can be the savior from your salt. That's if you don't want to do it yourself. Yep. If you can do it yourself, uh, pay the extra money, get yourself a clay bar. Oop, we're slowing down. Super clean your car as Chris Fix would say. Yep. 
super clean it properly. Get yourself a nice, uh, what is that, ceramic? Mm-hmm. Ceramic, ceramic wax. Ceramic wax. I know Mother's makes them. Yep. Please McGuire started making McGuire, it. Yep. Mail makes a hybrid brand. one. Yep. So there's a lot of, like, good things you can do. Oh, uh, a blanket. Yes, I have two of them in my car. One, yep. is a le- one is a basic throw blanket, and one is an actual plug-in electric blanket. Yep. You can also get those uh, foil blankets, the heated blankets. Yeah, it's always good for emergencies. I don't know what they're called. Uh, get yourself some rations. Usually, you want to get a couple of bottles of water. A granola bar is always good. Something that's not going to spoil. Mm-hmm. So that's always good, too. Uh, like I say, cell phone. Get yourself a little battery pack. Yep, I have got a solar battery charger in mine, plus the regular car battery charger. Yep. So just a few things. Um, you want to make sure that your car is dusted off. So if there's a big snowstorm, do your best to take all the snow off your roof. As you're driving, the person behind you does not want to have to keep using his windshield wipers because you choose not to do that or you've been in a situation where you're driving and all of a sudden you don't see anything because the guy in front of you didn't do it and it's just a big cloud of white comes right out your windshield. I've actually almost had it once where I truck didn't clean up the windshield, their roof and as everything started to thaw from the warmth of the car, you could hear the cracking in ours. The whole roof of snow came off in one giant sheet and almost hit us. Yep. That could kill somebody. Yep. So if for some reason you aren't able to get all this snow and ice off your car and you hear that telltale cracking of it starting to give way, pull over and remove it. Yep. It's not, you, you might not care about you, you know you because it's not it's your car, you know you're going to be fine, but care about the people behind you. They have families too. Yep. Uh, another thing is if you get a stone chip or an ice chip or a nice piece into your car, fix it right away. Fix it right away. Do not add heat to your windshield. You can add it low temperature to the inside of your cabin, but that's about it. Get it fixed the same day. The kits are extremely affordable. You can do it in your garage. For 10 bucks. Yeah, 10, 20 bucks, we're gonna say. And if you actually have insurance coverage, good insurance coverage, nine times out of 10, those small little chips will be covered. Yep. When you go to a Speedy Auto Glass or any Auto Glass place, they can run it through your insurance. It is a preventative thing, so you don't have to worry about the cost. Of fixing that repair chip most of the time just call around see talk to your insurance company make sure you have that coverage it is preventative because that chip will jeopardize the integrity of your window and with the fluctuating temperatures at winter it will spread it will splinter yep spider effect will just go yep. like crazy i had to replace the windshield on my hawkeye because winter came there was a small chip that i didn't see during the summer yeah and it just cracked the whole windshield just one all the way just across all the way across so here's another tip when you get your windshield replaced try to go oem yes you're gonna pay a bit more but the savings in the long run is there uh, yeah. my windshield cost me 496 dollars it's the closest to oem it's not an aftermarket and i have one year warranty one year warranty of free one glass replacement on any windows on my car. It could be the back window, it could be the driver's, uh, the windshield, it could be your side windows. I have one replacement and I have unlimited uh, chips on the glass, my windshield. I just got to come bring it in and be like, yeah, I got a stone chip, they'll fix it right there on the spot. Yeah. So it's always good to call around, check out the warranties, check out the pricings. Yep. Um, the place where we were gonna go, they, it was $100 cheaper, warranty was only 60 days. That's, you and know, it was okay. only for only for stress fractures. Yeah, so nothing that would be caused by driving. It was only caused by them. Yeah. So you want to stay away from that. If it's a if it's a five hundred dollar car that you don't care about, go right ahead. But don't forget, this is what you're driving during the winter. That's your safety. That's your family. Yeah. So, what else could you add? Mm. Uh, what about your brakes? Yes, good brakes is a good thing to have. Yep. Oh, tires. Yeah, I say the tires, but one thing a lot of people do is they will drop down a size. Oh, right. But you have to be careful when you drop down a size because if you, for some reason you don't drop down a size properly, you will build up more snow in your wheel wells. Yep. Which not only will wear down your tread faster, mm-hmm. it will screw up your handling, your control, your braking, everything. Yep. Just not, it's just not fun. Like right now, Jen's driving on the 16s. But my 16s are much bigger than my 17s. Yes, because of the tire. There's more meat on the tire compared to her low pros because gender in the summer she drives uh 17 inch tires on low pros yes so 
I could get see, my proper, the proper 16s I should be riding on would be the same diameter as my 17s. The ones I'm riding on right now because we just needed winter tires. I did, wasn't thinking because we've driven on these before. Was the fact that these ones are about an inch, I believe, maybe an inch, a little bit bigger than my actual 17s in diameter. So every time I stop, I have to kick snow out of my wheel wells. Otherwise, I can't turn my car properly. Yeah. We're fixing that next year. Yeah, we're fixing something new. See, an all-season tire is good for spring, summer, and fall. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it. Um, you can go to just the summer if you want, but then you gotta wait till the actual temperature is good enough for you to change your tires. Yeah. What temperature is that, Jen? Um, well, with an all-season, I know it's plus seven. When you're technically hitting plus seven during the day, you want to switch it out to all seasons when you and then when you're going into winter months when you start hitting as low as plus seven during the, the day you want to start hitting into your winter tires yeah just the rubber compounds completely different they react differently they respond differently and if you have a big vehicle with a lot of tread you might want to mess with mud, mud flaps i don't know if i can show you guys this but let's see if i can turn the camera around and you will see how much mud that OC Transpo bus is kicking up right now. Yeah. And that is why I need wiper blades. Yeah, which we have. Yeah. We got some Bosch ones from... Uh, Rock Auto. Rock Auto. Here's another thing. You can buy... If you do everything preventive, you should not have any issues on the first snowfall. No. Meaning, get your windshield wipers like a month ahead of time. Yeah. Go through Rock Auto. We paid... I paid like 25 or 26 bucks shipped from Rock Auto for my driver and passenger mm -hmm. on my 07 Hawkeye. Jen paid... About oh, 40, but those are all three of my blades. My two fronts and my rear. Yep. And they're winter ones compared to you're paying almost $26 just for one. So there is a saving if you know when to buy and mm -hmm. when to install. It's all that preventive. Um, for your windshield washer stuff, don't wait till it's already snowing. If you know it's gonna snow in November, just go driving and get rid of all your summer bug juice and add your winter ice juice. Yep. So like, yeah. You know, another thing we should mention too is when the weather's really bad, if you have to go really slow, for, much slower than the speed limit for some reason, or the conditions are really, really almost white out, make sure your headlights are on. Yep. I don't know how many times I've almost rear-ended somebody because it's almost white out conditions and they don't have their headlights on. Yep. And I mean headlights, not your high beams. That blue light, that's your high beams. Also, if you're driving, you want to make sure that none of your lights are impaired by snow. Yes. You want to make sure, again, it goes off with dusting off the roof of your car. You want to make sure that your lights are all visible. Yes. You want to make sure your license plate is visible. A lot of roads are actually way better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's just a lot of preventive that people don't take. Oh, we just mentioned the four ways, too. Yes, if you're driving and the road conditions are garbage, go right ahead. Throw your four ways on. What's the worst that's going to happen? People behind you are gonna honk. Let them pass you. Slow down to the passing lane. Let them pass you, and then you'll see them when they're in the ditch, and you're not. Yeah, because sometimes you will need those four ways on. It lets other cars know that hey, something up ahead. If there is something up ahead. You, I, you have to drive slow. Um, we've had a few times where we've had to go much slower than the speed limit, almost half the speed limit, and road condi conditions are slippery and slidey. And by throwing on the four ways, the car behind us knows to back down, slow down. That there's something going on. Yeah, it happened two nights ago. Yeah, and it's just it's just something a lot you don't see a lot of. Although a lot of the older school more old school drivers will know these things. It's just good habits to have because it's everybody's safety. Everybody wants to go home to their families. Everybody wants to be safe. Everybody wants to have a merry Christmas. Yeah, nobody wants. And here's the thing. So Jen and I both drive Subarus, and everybody's being like, "Oh, Subaru, they can go anywhere and everywhere." You're absolutely right. They can't because they're all wheel drive. It does not mean you should be driving like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Front wheel drive cars are great as well. Because front wheel drive cars, you have the engine for the weight of your car. Yeah. So Jennifer used to drive a Cobalt. And that Cobalt was great. It was to be able to make steep hills where I used to live. Mm -hmm. I used to drive a 99 BMW. And it was rear wheel drive. I had zero weight in the back of it. I couldn't go a lot of places. You had to ride all your trips. Yep. And I had really good tires. Winter tires. So it wasn't that. 
So again, you know, it all depends on what you're driving. If you're driving 4x4 and you think you're confident enough that, hey, I could put it in two-wheel drive and still make it, try it out on a road that's not busy. Yes. You don't want to go sliding through this. You don't want to be like, oh, where's my, where's my uh, 4x4, 4x4. If you're confident, go ahead, two-wheel drive, 4x4, go ahead, too. So we're all like, shaking. We're apparently hitting in some patches of ice. Yeah. Uh, another good thing is, this is going to sound really ridic ridiculous, but for the summer, you want air conditioning. During the winter, you want to run your, run your air conditioning for two minutes at least, just so that your Freon keeps going. It's it's an old lies tale I heard from like mechanics, and it seems to work. I've never had an issue with air conditioning systems, and I've ran it in my BMW. I've done it with my Super already. You want to do it like once a month. I don't know why, but it works. Yep. Anything else, Jen? I think we're good. I think we're good? I think we're good. All right, we're good. Uh, safe driving out there in the winter months, and if it's summer for if it's summer for you guys over there, I'm extremely jealous. Yeah, me too. Have a good winter and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.